Arthur Edwards, MBE, people of the UK, he is a national treasure. I was given this beautiful book by my boys for my birthday and I cannot recommend it highly enough and I want to tell you about it because it is such a stunning book. It really moved me. So many times when I was flicking through this book and reading Arthur Edwards' little stories, I got a gulp in my throat and, and a bit misty-eyed. And, and more than that, I got a real feeling of connection and, and the warmth of this man just oozes out of his work. Now, I've got to set up the, the, the story of how he first met Prince Charles because it's a great story. Arthur Edwards has been dispatched to find out because it was the year, I think Charles was around 30, and um, it was thought that he it was the year that he was going to get engaged to someone, but he was going out with a lot of high society, aristocratic sort of girls, and so, you know, they were trying to catch which was the one. And Arthur Edwards, upon that point, became a royal photographer, and <laughs> he was dispatched to try and find out who the one was. And um, he was walking sort of on the outskirts of Highgrove and, and Prince Charles came galloping up very irate and said, hey, you, get off my land. And Arthur Edwards said, I'm not on your land. This is a public footpath and um, I'm just doing my job. And Prince Charles said, some job. And Arthur Edwards answered, at least I've got one. And this was back when... Of course, Prince Charles was very young. And so Prince Charles goes and stomps off and, and evidently he whipped his whip down on the <laughs> desk of the security officers that are charged with <laughs> protecting him out at Highgrove. And it all it look, it just didn't go well. Let's put it that way. But Arthur Edwards and he, over the next 40 years, forged a really good working relationship. But beyond that, such respect, mutual respect. But it's the sort of the way that Arthur Edwards' attitude towards the royal family and towards Charles evolved over time. And it evolved in a very positive way because he witnessed their hard work and he witnessed the impact that that hard work had. There are so many really moving moments in this book. And of course, the photographs are just superb. And Arthur Edwards has an uncanny ability to capture that really human face of royalty. He's captured the queen in some of her most lovable moments. And it, they, they show her humour, you know, often that she's photographed looking rather stony-faced, you know, she, she never showed her emotions, um, which was the correct thing to do because that way people could decide what she was thinking depending on how they felt. <laughs> but, you know, she's often, often was photographed rather stony-faced or, or rather just passive, no, no expression. But not Arthur Edwards. He caught her at her best. And I'm going to put up some of the most uh, wonderful photographs that he took of her that I'm sure you've seen before. But he also had really heartfelt words to say about her. And you could tell that he was just so personally devastated by her passing. He tells a really moving story of meeting Prince Charles and Camilla, when they came off the plane and, uh, you know, from Scotland and he was there to photograph and they came up and talked to him and he said, you know, I'm, I'm so terribly sorry for your loss. And uh, you could just, oh, it was just, it was heartrending. I am not making too much of it. There is so much in this book that makes you feel Feel. And the other reason why this man is so beautiful and why it's such a lovely book to read and it's such a relief from all the angst and drama that Harry and Meghan bring to the table is that he doesn't have a bad word to say about anyone. He even 
speaks of the promise of love between Meghan and Harry and how Harry only ever wanted someone to love and for someone to love him back. And there's lots of fun little anecdotes in the book scattered all through the book. Just I don't want to ruin it for you. I want you to get the book. I am allowed to recommend this book. It's fantastic. And um, I'm only recommending it because I loved it. I don't get anything from recommending books. But one of the things he said about Prince Charles was particularly poignant and moving. I think this man is special. I think he's not yet reached his potential. Every day he gets up and tries to do his best for other people. One of the really cute parts of the book is when Arthur Edwards actually receives his MBE from the Queen. And she says, uh, I'm paraphrasing, you've taken my photograph enough, Arthur. I think we should be photographed together at this moment. And of course they are. And I'll put that photo up on the screen so you can enjoy it too. But the funny thing is that the next day she's at the Windsor Horse Show or soon after and Arthur Edwards is there and she actually comes up to him and says, why aren't you wearing your medal? And Arthur Edwards says, if I knew you were going to be here, mum, I would have. There are many really affectionate moments in this book too between members of the family. There's some really nice moments between Prince Charles and his mother, the Queen, and there is also a beautiful photo of Harry giggling when the Queen is seeing his passing out parade at Sandhurst. There's stunning photos of from the back of the Queen while she's looking at a fly past on the balcony. Um, so many, and I'm not going to put up too many because, of course, copyright and all that. And, you know, I don't want to destroy this man's work by putting up poor re reproductions of his beautiful photos up on the screen. But I just wanted to tell you about it in a very brief video because if you're looking for something that gets you excited about the coronation coming up, that has a really good feel good factor, something that you can just flick through and enjoy whenever you feel like it, please get this one. It's wonderful. Behind the Crown, My Life, Photographing the Royal Family by Arthur Edwards, MBE, a truly lovely man.